Hi, this is Jean from Winter Park County. I'm here with Scott. We're enjoying some peace and serenity while we take a little break from the honey business. We found a little pace to kind of pull off on the side of the river here. And we pulled out some snacks. And I actually wanted to show you a very easy to snack, easy snack to make while we're sitting out here on the Wifakuchi River. And here's Scott. One of my favorite treats that I enjoy is comb honey. Of course, you have to start with Winter Park honeycomb. And I had a, a wheat cracker for that, as well as a little, little bit of milk cheese. Now, here are some of my favorite ingredients. Uh, a, a whole grain rye flatbread. This one's called a crisp bread. And a little bit of milk cheese. A fresco uh, makes a very nice choice. And a little bit of Winter Park honey comb. That's all you need. It's real easy to make. Just to start with your flatbread. That kind of acts as your table. We're going to make one for my wife and I. This particular one's got uh, seeds and nuts in it. All right. Whole grain being one of the most important parts. You always start with the comb first since it's so sticky and kind of like the jelly part of things. And you certainly want a large knife. A sharp knife is, is helpful. You don't have to spread it too much because this is something that you'll just devour it down. It won't be eating some now and a little bit later. If the temperature is really hot, make sure you keep your comb in a cool, dry place so that it spreads about like this. You don't want it running all over the place. Being careful not to press too hard, we certainly can break the cracker if our comb is supported by a fairly stiff wax. When you eat it this way, you'll never notice the wax whatsoever. In fact, there's such a small amount of wax, about I think about 40 microns is how thin the average honeycomb cell is. So, um, I like it to eat it this way instead of like bubble gum. And that should be plenty of comb. Uh, this is Orange Blossom, one of our top selling comb products. You can take a little bit of this ranchero cheese and cut it in slivers as well. This will crumble, but it's fine. The more it breaks up, the better off you are.